Reference tracks. What is a reference track and how do you set up a reference track in Cubase Pro? A reference track is any song that you would want to use to compare and contrast the mix and master of a song you are currently working on. It can be a song by another artist and you love how it's mixed and you want your song to be mixed in a similar way. Or perhaps you want to reference a track that you've already done because you want there to be continuity between the mix and master of multiple songs on a project that might be an EP or an album. I do want to mention that when I've used reference tracks by other artists, I will go out and buy a WAV file version of that song. There are a couple places online where you can purchase those and I'll put some links in the description below in case you're interested in getting a WAV file version of your own reference tracks. Whether your reference track is a song by another artist or it's a song that you've already mixed and mastered, the process for setting that up in your Cubase Pro project will be the same. Now let's set up a reference track in Cubase Pro. Step number one would be to import your reference track into the project you are working on. Once you've done that, you're going to want to edit the channel settings and change the output from stereo out to no bus. Step number two is to enable control room and set up a queue. So to do that, you're gonna come up to Studio, Audio Connections. You might wanna take note of how your stereo output is currently set up, but you're gonna navigate over to Control Room and then Enable Control Room. Enable Control Room here. And as you can see, it took my output settings and mapped them to Monitor 1 for me. And while you're here in this window, you're gonna add a channel and add a cue. I'm just gonna add one cue because I have one reference track. You can add up to four cues, so you have the possibility of having up to four reference tracks. Now step number three is to route my reference track to Q1. And how you do this is you make sure in your project window that your reference track is selected. And then in the inspector, you're gonna to wanna to go to Q sends. Now, if you don't see Q sends, you might need to go down to this gear and set up the inspector to show Q sends. As you can see, disappears, I just come down, and there it is. You're going to want to expand that section and then click activate QSend for number one. Now our reference track is all set up and ready to use. Now, How would you use the reference track? You're going to come over to control room and you can see mix is currently selected. You can toggle between the mix of your project and the reference track on Q1 just by doing that. Let me demonstrate. <laughs> So now, just with the touch of a button, you can go back and forth between your reference track and what you have going on in real time in your project. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I am an artist, I do share music, but I'd like to do tutorials that I think will save you massive amount of time when you're working in a project or something like this, which will give you another tool to help improve the final product of what you're working on. If you have any questions or feedback for me, please leave me a comment.